and we're gonna try and measure g at g at home by for the free fall method um let's see what we do so uh we can measure g by free fall in the lab uh physics classroom uh, and what we do is we change the height a number of times from maybe 30 centimeters up to 1.8 meters um, and we measure the time it takes to fall we used the uh, s equal to ut plus half at squared formula to uh, determine for for a and and thus for g uh, we don't have access to the equipment that we'd need to record the time accurately at home and so i've decided to maybe use something a little bit more powerful some some powerful in our pockets that we might be able to find v um so what we're looking at doing is recording the, the ball falling after a certain distance measure its velocity at that very time and uh, put that into the v squared is equal to u squared plus 2as formula and using a for g and uh, work it out from there so this is a little bit of an idea of what i'm kind of expecting maybe this is the setup uh the ball will fall in front of this and we'll measure it. We, can, we can use the camera to measure this so um that's 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 the the, the short of us um, you're going to need a couple of things before you, you, you can try this. Uh, if you don't have any of them, then you can pretty much stop. Um, you're going to need some sort of a measuring type, uh, maybe a, a tailor's measure, a builder's measure. Um, really and truly anything, if you can even just go up the wall and mark. Um, yeah, anyway, we'll go back to, back to that. You're going to need a ball you can drop. Um, that ball should be not much bigger than a tennis ball, smaller, I'd say. Um and you might want to think of contrast. It's going to be dropping against white graph paper. It might be difficult to see something that's not white. You're going to need a, a smartphone. You're going to need to download Hugo Toro. Uh, tr assuming you've got one of the two major brands of phone or operating systems, you shouldn't have a problem with that. And a sheet of lined paper. So I was saying if you had graph paper or copy book paper, maybe that'd be even easier. Uh, but I'd say any kind of lined paper will do the job. We'll get to these. Uh, so the first things we need to do is we need to download the Yugotaro, we need to calibrate the recording zone, find the height and do a test. So to download the Yugotaro, really, that's going back to your own Play Store, your App Store, and you're going to find Yugotaro, uh, install it and test it. When I say test it, go back to any of your videos that you've made and just see if you can step through it um, one frame at a time, okay? So uh, next is to, re is to calibrate the recording zone. So in that video you saw the graph paper behind the behind the, the ball and that's what we're kind of talking about so um i had thought about making a solid line there is a solid line that, and then when the ball fell through that it would break the solid line for a certain amount of time that would give me the the distance fallen by the ball and the time been the number of frames um didn't really it was just all suggestions at the time didn't really know um so yeah as i said in my better phone the one plus six is the one i have and for or for premium software but it turns out i did a little google and we'll come back to that maybe in a bit uh so i just had the measurement of the, the ball the falls in one sixtieth of a second um that gave me velocities uh which i'm going to review um so you want to fold that graph paper along the bottom line so that it's it's clearly on the floor number of the lines from the bottom of the page from this new rules line and measure off the heights make it easy to see on the camera um make it easy to see when you're trying to just prepare this letter uh, you want to stand the phone beside the paper mark the height of the camera and this is the optimum height for recording and measuring uh, draw a bow line that mark and any of your measurements you get around that um marker your better measurements um so the bow line is where we're now looking to say is the finish line for this so you want to measure from the bow line all the way down to the floor that's going to be your end error um you're not actually dropping it from one meter you're dropping it from one meter and my photo my photo was 12 centimeters so 88 centimeters is that okay all right so this is kind of what i'm talking about um, phone set up here on some sort of book uh, I had or a box. Uh, the graph paper is, is taped to a door, uh, stuck to something. Uh, it needs to be stuck to something because you're going to measure height of it as well. Um, and we draw this black line at the optimum height. 
Um, and yeah, I think that's, that's self-explanatory. Um, so in order to optimize the camera, and you should max the frame rate of the video. I got mine to 60 frames per second. This is something I need to tell you because just when I was putting this video together, um, and I've put it off for a few days, uh, it turns out my phone will actually re re record up to 480 frames per second. Uh, so I'm gonna have to try this whole thing again. Um, but I need to get this up there in the uh, to the class. Um, so take the video in portrait style, give you a longer time to catch it. Raising the quality might help. Uh, I'm not sure of my new uh, venture that's going to work. So but I still think that if your phone has 60 frames per second, I got measurements. Um, they were okay. Uh, okay. Sorry, the measurements were good. Um, the, the answers were okay. Uh, the thing about taking the video further back and zooming it in, um, it's your project, you do what you want. Optimize the Yuga Toro. Um, Yuga Toro has a full subscription, uh, a professional edition for a week's trial. I didn't know it and I didn't try it either. Ways to measure height. You have your own supplies. You're in your own house at this time. Um, so you need to be, but you need to be able to confidently drop a ball from a set height every time you say it. Um, and so you, so I had a builder's measure um and tied that in and, and it, it was difficult but I, I got there in the end. Um what if you've got a tailor's uh you know the the, the clothes measuring tape I wouldn't recommend it but, but like whatever it works, this isn't going to change the world. It is gonna keep us all uh, busy. Um so please uh, yeah yeah uh, if you're going drawing on walls folks don't blame me. Um yeah so you know I, I wedged the, the building tape measure in the gap of a door and it wasn't the safest but there was nobody around at the time so i was okay I had to use sticky tapes because the measuring tape kept popping off you'll have to find your own solutions um can't help you there setting up the recording area we have the heights done we're going to know what we're doing with the heights we're going to drop them from a certain height and then we're going to record them a real page is sitting nice and perfect stuck to the wall and absolutely you got something to hold your phone um there we go so quick test and this is the test i showed you earlier um turn on the phone set it to record drop the ball over the drop zone sorry hold the ball over the drop zone um drop it um do it again do it again do it again try and fit, change things try and make sure where you're dropping it's going to work it's all lined up uh, stop recording watch the video see the ball is the ball going through the through where you can really mark it? Um, you could use Ugo Toro at that stage if you really want, uh, just to make sure it really works for you. Okay, so okay, we've done all the prep, and now it's time to actually do an experiment. Um, something, yeah. So we need to measure uh, the heights, and you need to select a number of heights you want to explore. Um, Think about the end correction. Um, I know from my 12 centimeter end correction, I went and did 112 and 132 were two of the ones I threw in just to give me easier subtractions. Um, more heights will give more data points. Um, and then our line will come best straight if, if, if this is it. Write everything, everything down the table. Don't be willy nilly. Write up a table first. It'll save you so much in the, uh, in the long run. Um, I'll give you a table in a moment. Check that everything's ready. The ruler's calibrated. Turn on the record. Stand the phone up. So go to your lowest height that you've wrote down, you've chosen. Measure it off on the measurement tape. Put the ball at the bottom of the ball at that mark. And say it into the camera. Say it into the phone. Say 30 centimetres, 50 centimetres. And then drop it. And then take the ball. Again, hold it up to whatever, 60 centimetres. Uh, hold it over, drop it, take it up to 80, hold, say it 80, and drop it, etc., etc., and keep going. And, um, so for as many chosen heights as you want to use, more is better, as I did say. So um, using the Yugo Toro app, we want to get the frames of interest. So you got to play through it, and it's a little bit cumbersome and tedious. It's not bad, but you can miss it. And originally, I was definitely recording the second bounce 
Ross's fall, which definitely wasn't uh, the right one, so be careful. Um, so we're going to look at this case scenario where the the ball is here in the first frame. Um, is that on the second page? Yes, it is. The ball's here in the first frame. We can measure that height there. Um, and we know that the, the difference between these two is 160 to a second. Um, and then this is the height difference is now recording here. It's now recording there. So we can find out the, the distance that's falling in a, in the units of time. And we can uh, ascertain V from that. Is that right? The, the ball doesn't shift across there three different frames. I hope you, hope you get that. Um, so we're going to get V. Uh, square is equal to u squared plus 2as. u is, is dropped, so we didn't throw it. So u is a zero. Um, and we're going to assume that. Okay. So using your own data, make your own table. And the table should really look like this. I, I think there's five columns. I uh, forever bad at skipping some or adding. But the, I think these are the height you're dropping from. Like another column I would have normally added was the end correction. Um, so if you're clever enough, you just get your height you dropped it from and take away your end correction. We talk about end correction. Uh, the distance the ball has fallen in a certain time. Now, a number of times when I was close to the ball, I, I was able to measure two distances and so I put them down there and the two times, and I suppose that's going to be one over 60 at every time. So therefore, V is equal to uh, D multiplied by 60, in, in, in fact. But then I need velocity squared. Okay. Using Excel or Sheets or some other spreadsheet, um, fill in the data there. Um, you can draw the graph on graph paper in pencil if you like. Um, I suppose the crucial thing to tell you there is that V squared up on one side. I thought I had this in. V squared is up on the, 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 the Y axis and 2S is along the, the, the bottom. Some people might argue about, about the 2S. Um, if you put 2S in, then you'll find out G, uh, the slope of the slope of that line should be G. Um, if you only put in S, then the slope of that line will be half of G. Um, okay. So, um, yeah. Um, come back with that Excel thing. The assessment the following required for a complete diagram, not a photo to set up. Uh, table of results with appropriate graph and calculated slope and dust G. Uh, you can do it by hand or using a spreadsheet. I'll send up another spreadsheet video. A screenshot of the recording uh, of the object, object falling. So um, you will have a video. I just want a screenshot of the video or even the video in Yugo Toro. I, I, I don't even know if that's possible. Uh, and then you should give some comments. Um, in the comments should mention the errors. What, where do you think we were inaccurate uh, or unprecise in our measurements? Uh, where and there's plenty of them, <laughs> absolutely, utterly plenty of them. But I think that gives a good uh, uh, discussion. Uh, the known value of G versus your value of G. Uh, uh, description of how much time this took you. Um, 